Getting onto the nether roof is one of the most helpful things in Minecraft, enabling you to make some really cool farms. So I'm going to teach you how to break bedrock in Minecraft 1.19.3 so you're not stuck up here forever and ever. If this video helps you out, don't forget to leave a like to show your support and subscribe to see more awesome content like this. My best advice is to watch this video through once so you know everything that you need to bring as well as learn the steps needed. Then watch it through again so you know what you're doing. Also, I'm including frequently asked questions at the end, so if you're unsure about anything, make sure to watch to find out. First off, to prepare, you don't want to get stuck on the roof, so make sure to bring at least 10 extra obsidian and a flint and steel, just in case you don't bring enough TNT and do it wrong and then get stuck. To break bedrock, you'll need two obsidian, two pistons, two ladders, one ender pearl, one lever, one wooden trapdoor, it doesn't matter what type of wood it is, as long as it's a wooden trapdoor, and then two TNT. But make sure to bring extra TNT and maybe a couple extra levers and trapdoors, just in case it doesn't work first try and they get blown up. So the first thing you want to do is go to the nether and then go to the bedrock on the top of the nether ceiling. Do this however you like. If you want to pillar up, go for it. If you want to mine up, go for it. Whatever's, whatever's best for you guys. Once you're up here, press F3 on your keyboard and look at the F3 screen. What we're going to be looking for is a targeted block of 127. That's the Y level. You want that number there to be 127 when you're looking up at the top of the bedrock. What you want to do now is place two ladders up until the bedrock. And then once you place the ladders, you want to then climb them. As you can see, I'm climbing them. And you want to look with your ender pearl at this sort of angle. Then use your ender pearl while carrying on holding W or whatever your forward key is. And you will glitch through the bedrock. As you can see, I'm still halfway in the bedrock. And then you want to jump up and use a block to mark it out. If you want to use a torch, that's what I usually do. Or just a piece of netherrack. Whatever works best for you. Now that you're up here it's time to break the bedrock. What you want to do to build the breaking machine is place two pieces of obsidian next to the block that we've marked out. Then come around the back and place in two pieces of TNT like so, and then a lever between the TNT and this piece of obsidian, just on the side of this obsidian here. Cut around the front and place in your wooden trapdoor. Again, any wood, it doesn't matter what sort of wood, just place your wooden trapdoor there. And then you can break this piece of netherrack here and you want to place in a piston where that was. Of course, we've already used the ender pearl and ladder. We don't need to worry about them. But now you are all set to go. The great thing about this design as well is there's no risk of you dying. You could do it in survival with no armor. And I'm about to show you that, guys. No armor. And you can still make it work without dying. So it's perfect for hardcore. There's nothing to worry about at all. No risk of death. Unless you do it wrong. And, well, then you can die. So I would still recommend wearing armor. But this is just proof of concept. So to activate the breaker, what you need to do is flip the lever and then climb underneath this trapdoor so you do that by pressing the trapdoor this piece will shoot out because of the lever you pressed and then you need to place a piston where this piston is going to have broken when the tnt explodes in this top corner on the side of the obsidian basically what that does is the piston gets broken but in the same tick that it gets broken you place in a new piston that is upside down and because the lever is still activating that block for a split second it causes the piston you place to then stretch out, which breaks the block of bedrock that's underneath it. And then it glitches back and it turns back into this piston. It's a pretty funky system, but it works great. Now this can be a little tricky. So my best advice is to have nothing in your offhand. If you have a shield, especially, it's not gonna work. So make sure you got nothing in your offhand. And another piece of advice is to bind your right click button. So as you can see, you've got your attack, destroy, pick block, and then use item. This is your right button. I'd recommend binding this to another button that's readily available to you so you can press it instead of a right click. As you can see now it's Alt and I'm pressing the Alt button. And basically what this does is you can hold that button instead of spamming right click to try and place the piston in at the right time. You can hold it and that effectively does the same thing. Thing. So now that you're ready with your keybind changes, press the lever. So you can do that from here. You can see the corner of the lever there. Press the lever, jump down, and then hold Alt in this corner while looking like that. And as you can see, it didn't work this time as the piston is still facing downwards. It hasn't worked, but as you guys should have done, you should have brought extra levers. Well, that one actually survived that time and you should have brought extra TNT. It may take a couple tries, but we will get it working. Let's give it another go. Also, as you guys saw, I'm still alive and I had no armor on. It's the perfect system. Well, I wouldn't call it perfect exactly, but it's 
pretty damn good. So it's not going to be flawless, guys. It's not going to work 100% of the time, but following this method, it should work. Let's give it another try. So we flick the lever, hop back down under here, hold Alt or whatever button you bind it to. Oh, I think it worked. As you saw, guys, for a split second, it was facing downwards, and now it's facing how it was before. Now, all we need to do is break this piston and... There we have it. We have now broken bedrock. Congratulations, you broke a bedrock, guys. Now, some frequently asked questions are, does it work on servers? It can if it's a server you can edit the config for, so it doesn't work for free servers like Eternos or Hypixel, but it will work on ShopBite servers, which you can find linked down in the description. Use code SALMONUP for 25% off your server. I'll also put a detailed guide for changing the config in the description, so if you guys want to change the config to allow permanent block breaking, you can find that in the description. Does it work on Bedrock? You can't build on the nether roof in Bedrock Edition for some reason. So unfortunately, no. And should you subscribe? Oh, hello. And should you subscribe? Yes. Yes, you definitely should subscribe. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And check out the description for any other questions. I'll be posting more frequently asked questions down there.